school night, and I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us. I really wish people wouldn't refer to me as being gay. It's a high standard. And I'm usually depressed. I have a cat named Deacon and a dog called Sex. Can you tell I was raised Southern Baptist? <laughs> Did you know that approximately 90% of the population would never open another closet door if gays really came out? <laughs> I was shaking hands with a guy the other day. His grip was really strong. Finally, I said, damn, dude, I may be a lesbian, but I'm still a girl. <laughs> I love men with the attitude, baby, sleeping with me will change your world. <laughs> How the hell do they think I got this gay? <laughs> I recently learned never, never sleep with my hairdresser. When she's mad, she will mess up your head. real issue with people and their holier-than-thou attitudes. Think about it. They could have been the gay ones. I get stared at a lot. I finally realized people think I am Pamela Sue Anderson. <laughs> Laugh. But imagine the burden. You know what really scares me? Any woman more masculine than I am. <laughs> you know those fear this bumper stickers? 
I saw a woman the other day that should wear one on her forehead. Okay, so I was looking in the mirror. kids. No barking husband. And no fights over the remote control. I think sleeping with another woman is a small price to pay for those privileges. Thank you, everybody. I'll be out in the parking lot if anybody needs their transmissions worked on. Okay.